Smoke and cocktails, so hot right now. We've actually done a lot of smoke and cocktail videos, including putting smoke inside of an ice ball, doing a smoke infusion of a drink. But today we're gonna talk about bubbles, another fun way to add an interesting aroma to the drink, but it mostly creates an awesome visual effect that your guests are gonna remember. Here I'm gonna show you three different ways to make these smoke bubbles. But for each of these, you're gonna need some edible bubble formula. There's a lot of brands out there, but today I'm gonna be using some from Bubble Lick. These are non-toxic and often have a bit of sweetness added to them. All right, let's get into the first technique. This is by far the most inexpensive way to do it and it involves using dry ice, which costs, you know, a couple bucks a pound at your local supermarket. It also involves this dry ice experiment kit I got on Amazon. It's got a little hose on the side here, which allows you to direct that carbon dioxide as it sublimates from the dry ice. Before we get started, let's get our cocktail ready, and we need to talk a bit about the glassware to use here. So ideally you're using some kind of cocktail or martini glass. A narrow Collins glass or any glass that tends to angle inwards at the top tends to not be as good for getting the bubbles to rest on top of them. All right, now we need a tasty beverage in this coupe glass, so let's just go ahead and summon a classic Negroni. Easy enough, and now let's put that aside and go ahead and prepare our dry ice kit. Now I want to try to get some citrus aromas in this bubble, so instead of using water with the dry ice, we're gonna swap that for grapefruit juice. Pour it in the tub, and then using tongs, carefully add in some of your dry ice. You want your liquid to be a little warm so you get a more intense sublimation from the dry ice. Once you got that going, pressing the lid on top will force the CO2 through that tube, which is gonna allow us to create those bubbles. Let's see it in action here. We're just gonna dip that hose into our edible bubble mixture, cap the tube, and wait till that's about the right size, give it a little shake, and drop it, then pop it. Simple as that. Let's do the same thing and just do it on the Negroni this time. Nailed it. Now this should last a couple minutes sitting on top of the drink. Just pass it to your guest. And they'll get some quality content for Instagram and a nice, subtle grapefruit aroma on top. All right, technique number two is gonna require a smoking gun, and there's a ton of great uses for this tool outside of making smoke bubbles, but this one is gonna run you about 90 bucks. Using this method, we're gonna fill those bubbles with real smoke. So we're gonna start by choosing the type of wood we want, in this case, apple wood, fill it into the little vessel here. Now this technique takes a little bit of practice here, but we're gonna start by creating a cinch in that rubber hose and dip it in the bubble formula. Then we're gonna turn on the smoking gun fan and torch the wood chips on top. Once you got that going, we're then going to bring the tube over the cocktail and slowly open up that rubber hose, letting the smoke fill it up. Once again, drop the bubble on top. Why does your finger have to have all the fun here? Get all up in there with your face and just take it in. Phrasing? Do people still say that? Anyway, this drink is very tasty. I would recommend this with a whiskey-based cocktail, maybe a Boulevardier. But if you are serious about pairing aromas with your cocktails, look no further than the Flavor Blaster. This thing is awesome and purpose-built for imbuing aromas either into the glass or into a bubble. It's a pretty clever technique that uses these little tanks filled with a coil that will heat up these cocktail aromatics, turn them into a sort of vapor, and blast them out through this gun. The kit they sent me has a variety of different aromatics, including rosemary, citrus, smoke, and a few others. It also comes with their own bubble lick formula here, so let's take it for a test drive. We'll pour a little bit of this into a jigger. Then you simply dip the nose of the gun into that solution, pull the trigger, and the bubble will form. What's great is this technique is really idiot proof and shit. What's great is this technique is really idiot proof. You just use the trigger to dial up the size of the bubble the way you want it and hold it over the top of the drink, release it, and it should land right on top. Now that cloud is looking extra thick. Let's slow this baby down and watch it pop. One advantage of the Flavor Blaster over the other techniques is that the aromas are just really intense. Here I'm using citrus and it smells awesome. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. What if you're serving a pair of cocktails? Carefully slide them right next to each other and you should get yourself a double bubble. If you're not into that bubble life, you can also use it with a cloche like this to fill up the aromatics and reveal the drink. Now I will say this tool is not cheap, but it is by far the most convenient and effective way to get smoke bubbles of the techniques I showed today. Plus it's just tons of fun. I'll put links to all the equipment I use today on my website and down below. 
Today's video was sponsored by Raycon wireless earbuds. I've been testing these for months now and am loving both the sound quality and comfort. They're super discreet and are nice and snug in the ear. The carrying case is also really compact. It can charge the buds four times on a single charge. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing as other brands I've tried. Here I'm rocking their latest model, E25. It's got six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. There's lots of colors to choose from as well. Right now you can get 15% off your order by going to buyraycon.com slash cocktail chemistry. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching y'all. I'll put links to all of the equipment on my website. And if you don't follow me already on Instagram, check me out. I post some bonus content there as well as some bite-sized versions of all my videos.